Air travel is a vital component of our daily lives, still it comes at a significant cost to our planet, with carbon emissions contributing to global warming and climate change, and a growing concern about its environmental impact exists. But what if we could create carbon emissions-free air travel? Well, China has accomplished this feat by disclosing its latest invention, a plasma electric engine already set to transform the world of air travel. This groundbreaking new engine eliminates carbon emissions from air travel, paving the way for a more sustainable future. In this video, we'll examine China's impressive plasma electric engine, how it works, and its applications in aviation. Join us as we dive into this incredible invention and discover how it could change the face of air travel forever. In recent years, the development of plasma engines has gained increasing attention in the world of space exploration. Plasma engines, also known as plasma thrusters, are an electric propulsion system that utilizes plasma to generate thrust. The technology is still in its infancy, but researchers believe it could hold the key to carbon emissions-free air travel. Unlike traditional propulsion systems that rely on chemical reactions, plasma engines use electric and magnetic fields to ionize a gas, typically xenon, argon, or krypton, creating plasma. The plasma is then accelerated to produce a force that propels the spacecraft forward. Plasma engines can achieve much higher exhaust velocities than chemical rockets, making them ideal for long-term space travel. Now, plasma engines differ from ion thruster engines which generate thrust by extracting an ion current from their plasma source. Ion thrusters use grids or anodes to accelerate the ions to high velocities. In contrast, plasma engines use the current and potentials generated internally as a high current electric arc between two electrodes to accelerate the ions. This results in a lower exhaust velocity than ion thrusters but still allows for high efficiency and thrust. One of the main advantages of plasma engines over other forms of propulsion is their efficiency. Plasma engines require less fuel than traditional rockets, making them more cost-effective and environmentally friendly. They also have a much longer lifespan, with some engines capable of running for years at a time. In addition, plasma engines can be throttled, allowing for precise control of the spacecraft's speed and direction. Another advantage of plasma engines is that they don't require high-voltage grids or anodes cathodes to accelerate charged particles in the plasma source. This reduces the risk of grid ion erosion and simplifies the engine's design. In addition, the plasma exhaust is quasi-neutral, meaning that the positive ions and electrons exist in equal numbers. This makes it possible to use simple ion-electron recombination in the exhaust to extinguish the exhaust plume, removing the need for an electron gun. Now, Typical examples of these engines generate the source plasma using various methods, including radio frequency or microwave energy using an external antenna. Plasma engines are also versatile in terms of propellants. A range of propellants can be used, including argon and carbon dioxide. The development of plasma engines has come a long way, with prototypes being tested in various space missions, such as NASA's Dawn mission to explore the asteroid belt and the European Space Agency's BepiColombo mission to Mercury. However, plasma engines are still in the early stages of development and much more research needs to be done before they can be widely used for air travel. Plasma engines, while showing great potential for space travel, do come with a set of drawbacks. One major issue is their high energy demand. For instance, the Vesemir VX200 engine requires a whopping 200 kilowatts of electrical power to produce only 1.12 pounds, 5 newtons of thrust meaning such engines would require large amounts of energy to be useful for space missions. Moreover, pairing the engine with something like fission reactors could increase the spacecraft's weight, making launching it into space more challenging. Another significant drawback is plasma erosion, which can occur when the plasma thermally ablates the walls of the thruster cavity and support structure. This can lead to system failure, making developing new materials and cooling systems necessary to prevent erosion. And plasma engines' relatively low thrust means they are impractical for launching a spacecraft into orbit, so they are only helpful for in-space operations. In comparison, chemical rockets provide much more thrust and can be used to launch spacecraft into orbit. Despite these drawbacks, though, various space agencies have developed plasma propulsion systems, such as the Hall Effect Thruster developed by NASA and BUSEC and the Vesemir engine developed by the Ad Astra rocket company. 
These engines have been used on space missions and show great promise for reducing the time taken to travel between planets. And the recent development of China's new plasma electric engine is a significant milestone in this field. The new engine has been designed to work on Earth, making it closer to the carbon emissions free air travel goal. The technology could power aircraft and reduce the carbon footprint, making air travel more sustainable. In recent years, China has invested heavily in plasma engine technology and committed to advancing air travel. In 2018, China's state-owned aerospace manufacturer, Aero Engine Corporation of China AECC, announced that it plans to develop a next-generation turbofan engine for commercial aircraft, reducing fuel consumption and emissions while increasing performance. This project is known as the CJ-1000AX. In 2020, a team of engineers at the Institute of Technological Sciences at Wuhan University revealed a working prototype of a microwave thruster which they claim is capable of working in Earth's atmosphere with comparable efficiency and thrust to conventional jet engines. This new plasma engine uses air and electricity instead of gases like xenon, making it a more practical option for Earth's atmosphere. The plasma engine generates thrust by generating plasma from a source gas, which is then rapidly heated and allowed to expand. The new engine uses ionized air to produce a low-temperature plasma fed into a tube and bombarded with microwaves. The microwaves shake the ions, causing them to impact non-ionized atoms and generate significant amounts of thrust further down the tube. The flattened waveguide and specially designed 1 kilowatt 2.45 gigahertz magnetron focus the microwaves, boost the electric field strength, and impact the plasma with as much heat and pressure as possible. A quartz tube is also placed in a hole in the waveguide at its narrowest point. Air is forced through this tube, passes through a small waveguide section, and exits the quartz tube's other end. The plasma rapidly heats to over 1,000 degrees Celsius, creating a torch-like flame as the hot gas exits the waveguide, thus generating thrust. Testing has shown that the engine can produce up to 500 newtons of thrust in continuous operation for 30 minutes, which could have significant applications in modern aircraft. The researchers found that finely tuning the airflow in the compressor could produce a more extended flame jet in response to increased microwave power. To measure the amount of thrust produced by the engine, the team used a hollow steel ball filled with steel beads to balance it on top of the tube. By adjusting the ball's weight, they could counteract the gravitational forces acting on it and estimate the thrust produced by the plasma jet. The engine is highly efficient, producing 2.45 pounds of thrust, or 11 newtons, for every 400 watts of electrical input and 1.45 cubic meters of air per hour. That represents a conversion rate of 6.29 pounds of thrust or 28 newtons for every kilowatt of power it consumes. Assuming a linear relationship between microwave power and thrust output, it could be possible to use a Tesla Model S battery capable of outputting 310 kilowatts to produce up to 1,911 pounds or 8.5 kilonewtons of propulsive thrust force. However, there are some caveats to this technology. The engine's 1,000-degree exhaust could cause serious problems, and the air flows around 15,000 times lower than those for a full-sized engine, which means the thrust has to scale by about four orders of magnitude. Additionally, the engine requires significant power, making it impractical for larger aircraft. Nevertheless, plasma engines such as the one recently developed by Chinese researchers have the potential to revolutionize air travel by offering a cleaner, more efficient way to power aircraft. Traditional jet engines rely on the combustion of fossil fuels, which not only releases harmful pollutants into the atmosphere, but also contributes to climate change. In contrast, plasma engines use electricity to ionize the air, creating a plasma that produces a high-velocity stream of charged particles that can generate thrust. One of the main benefits of plasma engines is their reduced carbon emissions. According to a study by the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, plasma engines could produce up to 60% fewer carbon emissions than traditional jet engines. This reduction in emissions could help the aviation industry meet its carbon reduction goals and contribute to global efforts to combat climate change. And another benefit of plasma engines is their increased fuel efficiency. Traditional jet engines are only about 25% efficient, meaning that 75% of the energy in the fuel is lost as heat or noise. In contrast, 
Plasma engines are expected to be much more efficient, potentially doubling or even tripling the efficiency of traditional engines. This increased efficiency could translate into lower airline fuel costs and reduced dependence on fossil fuels. But despite all these potential benefits, there are significant challenges to transitioning it to plasma engines for air travel. One of the main challenges is scalability. The Chinese researchers who developed the new plasma engine tested it on a small scale, and whether the technology can be scaled up to power commercial aircraft remains to be seen. This will require significant investment research and overcoming technical challenges related to power generation and storage. Another challenge is the cost of developing and implementing plasma engines. While reduced carbon emissions and increased efficiency could lead to long-term cost savings, significant upfront costs are associated with developing and testing the technology. This could be a barrier for airlines facing financial challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, there is the challenge of safety. Plasma engines produce a high-velocity stream of charged particles which could pose a safety risk if not adequately controlled. And there is also the risk of the engine overheating or malfunctioning which could lead to catastrophic failure. These safety concerns must be addressed before plasma engines can be adapted for commercial air travel. Yet, despite these challenges, there are signs of progress in developing plasma engines for air travel. In addition to the Chinese research team, many other companies and researchers are exploring the potential of plasma engines, including NASA and the European Space Agency. These efforts focus on developing new technologies that can improve the efficiency and scalability of plasma engines and address safety concerns. So China's new plasma electric engine is a significant breakthrough in this technology and could pave the way for carbon emissions-free air travel. However, despite the promising development in plasma engine technology, there are still challenges to overcome before it can be widely adopted in the aviation industry. These challenges include safety concerns, high costs, and the need for further testing and research. As we navigate our way towards a future emphasizing renewable energy and resource conservation, the development of plasma engines marks a crucial turning point in transportation. With this revolutionary innovation on the horizon, it begs the question, what other extraordinary advancements could we unlock by harnessing the full potential of plasma engines? How might this shape the future of transportation as we know it? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.